divine mandate, Aquaibom is blessed with Governor Dom Gabriel Emanuel, who is committed to the industrialization of Aquaibom State, passionate in human capacity development and empowerment, creative in the area of agriculture, reliable in superior infrastructure, and focused on the Aquaibom project. Be part of the winning team. Come, let's build Aquaibom together. The progress of this thing Life with the units are not one another. When the curtains were drawn at the 2016 Olympic Games, Nigeria, the most populous black nation on earth, had only a solitary bronze medal against its name on the medal's table. For Governor Udom Emmanuel, that was unacceptable for a country richly blessed with abundant sporting talents and something needed to be done immediately. This galvanized the governor into immediate action. To help remedy the situation, he initiated several sports development projects and programs. Key amongst this was the development of sports centers in the federal constituencies of the state the overhaul of the management and playing staff of the state football teams and the resuscitation of school sports program with the first edition of the Aquibum Youth Sports Festival held in February 2017. Governor Emmanuel believes that the state can have a stake in the multi-billion dollar global sports business and produce the future Serena Williams, Lionel Messi, you send bolts and others by empowering young people to make a living through sports. The fruit of that seed planted in 2017 is already bearing fruits as young talents discovered in that year's fiesta went on to represent the state at last year's national youth games later that year where the state finished second on the medal stable. Investment in sports development in Aquaibum State has not gone unnoticed as the Federal Minister of Sports recently honored the state with three awards and Governor Odum Emmanuel was voted the Sports Governor of the Year 2017 at the Nigeria Sports Award. And one thing that makes me happy today is the fact that Aquaibum is being honored. If we know Aquaibum very well, we will know the role they have been playing in the game of football in this country. I want to seize this opportunity to thank the Aquaibum State for all they are doing for sports development in this country. And anybody driving sports development in this country, what is the person doing? The person is trying to direct the energy of the young ones fruitfully. They are restless. And so what the person is doing is to occupy them. When any youth is occupied, you agree with me that there will be no time to start looking for a gang to enter. There will be no time to join any courtes. There will be no time to think of anything that will not add value to our lives. To consolidate on the games of the first edition, the second edition of the sports festival held between March 6 to 10, 2018 with over 12,000 primary and secondary school children participating. Just like the first edition, 
The opening ceremony held at the magnificent and well-maintained Gasril Akpabi International Stadium in Uyo. It featured a match past of the participating local government areas, dance, musical performance and display of calisthenics. The Minister of Sports, Solomon Dalong, attended last year's event but could not make it this year, but was represented by a director in the ministry and former national handball player, Esther Luku. The minister praised the efforts of the state government in catching them young and asked others to emulate the state. It gives me great pleasure and honor to be here to witness the second edition of the Aqua Ibom State Sports Festival, which serves as the State Olympic Games. I'm so happy to announce that Aqua Ibom State is already on the path to sports excellence, judging by the performances of the state's young athletes in the last couple of competitions, especially at the 2017 edition of the National Youth Games. I want to sincerely appreciate His Excellency, the Governor of Aqua Ibom State, the best sports governor in Nigeria, for making it possible for these young athletes to showcase their God-given talent and skills through participation at this sports festival. And shortly, potential athletes will be discovered at this sports festival that will represent Aqua Ibom State at national competitions and thereafter graduate to represent Nigeria at international games and championships. Declaring the week-long fiesta open, Governor Odum Emmanuel said he was impressed by the progress made so far in sports development in the state and stated that money spent in the sector was an investment 
and not waste it. Truth is constant. Facts do change. For today, the truth is the best sports state in Nigeria is a quite upset. And that's the truth. I'm here today as proud a quite moment, ready and willing to unleash our healthy competitive spirit that represents the very soul and essence of the appointment character and person as we kickstart this second edition of our Bible News and Sports Festival, Christian Uyo 2018. I need to let people know that we are here to catch the new. Sports is the gold mine of our generation. We believe that though not all our Bible children were born with equal talents, they should be given equal opportunity to explore their inner potentials and that precisely is what this competition is all about. Let me also caution that whatever we spend in sports development is not an expense, but actually is an investment. As a government, our pledge and commitment is to make Aquaibo the sports capital not only of Nigeria, indeed of Africa. The governor of our Aquaibom State, the best sport governor in Nigeria, taking Udom Emmanuel Sport Initiative, brought out the best in principals of schools, headmasters and mistresses, game masters and mistresses, and sport coordinators who embraced this as the most ambitious school sports program in the land. As we are surprised, the youth festival was just an additional plum on the cap of a man who has turned a pipe of state to the sport maker of this country. A man who single-handedly guaranteed the qualification of the Super Eagles to the Russia 2018 World Cup with a match to Spain. A man who has sent one of our brightest, Anike Mafonsu, to the United States to help her on her athletic skills. A man who last year won the ITO Cup, the second of such trophy in three years. Here we have come to appreciate the inauguration of prize monies by His Excellency to the willing local government areas. We built 18 million naira to the first three local government areas. Monies that will be used to develop sport infrastructure in their local government areas. The governor went on to receive the festival touch, which had made a tour of 31 local government areas of the state. The high point of the opening ceremony was exhibition track races and a football match between Ikorepene and Uyo local government areas. Thereafter, action moved to the various venues as the hunt for medals began.
let's give you a highlight of some of the action in some of the venues. In the end, Oruwanam local government area retained the overall winner's trophy they won last year by finishing first with a total of 72 gold, 22 silver and 20 bronze medals, making 119 in all, cutting home 10 million naira in prize money. Uyo came second with 41 gold, 49 silver and 31 bronze, a total of 121 medals with 5 million naira prize money. While it will emerge third with 33 gold, 25 silver and 45 bronze medal for a total of 104 medals, picking up a 3 million naira check for their effort. I present the trophy to Captain of Team 2. Now, why make some noise? The showpiece event on the final day where the sprint and relay races and the football final match. This 
one forward. Couldn't control now the attacker. Oboro Kara clearing their lines. There is a chance. It's more than a chance for the player for the number nine. Can it be What a stupendous save by the goalkeeper to keep the score line respectful. Defenders having a nightmarish experience. Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Welfare, Dr. Glory Edet, student for the governor. Our team has been winning in so many events. We've been winning volleyball, football, handball, and so other athletes. I want to thank our big daddy, His Excellency Governor Udomi Mandwell, for this great job because other local governments in other states don't have this great opportunity. But His Excellency Udomi Mandwell has done a very great job for bringing out talent in Akwa Ibom State. I want to say may God bless him. Oruwana won the first trophy. Now this second one is a confirmation that Oruwana have done so much, have worked very hard to succeed. So I will advise other local governments to do what, to train much so that they will also become the winner. I really thank the Akwaibom State Government because for the, like last year, during the first Akwaibom State uh, Youth Sport Festival, we have four local government that participate in the in the in the competition, but thank God today, 2018, we have nine entrants. Mean that baseball is growing in Akwaibom State. New sports like cricket, uh, we've had a tremendous number of uh, discoveries of a uh, new talent. Quite a lot of young stars that we discovered that can represent uh, the states and the nation in the near future. I want to say to our dear governor and deacon, uh, congratulations for this feat. Congratulations for giving us a good opportunity to use the facility that we have here. I feel so elated. I feel really so excited because uh, this festival has really been able to put up a platform where every child feels and have a sense of belonging. You know, I want each and every one of us in Akwaibom to know that what the state government is doing is really so good. State government has been able to raise the pillars for total education. Since we walked in here, we've seen talent in the making. We've seen excitement in winning games. We have seen a, a, sometimes a, a tears or, or flowing down the cheeks of people who felt that they should have really done more to winning their games. So I, I feel happy that government has really brought in every Akwaibom child in full participation through sports. Honestly, Akwaibom in the next five, seven years will be the talk of the entire world. It is also worth noting that the state government is building sports academies in each of the 10 federal constituencies of the state. The 142 Ibiano Federal Constituency at the West Itam Secondary School has been completed. The one for Ket Ona Federal Constituency is nearing completion and others are at various stages of execution. The dividends of the state government's investment in sports is also evident in the upturn in fortunes of Aqua United Football Club. The team which had always struggled in the lower rounds of the Nigeria Professional Football League emerged winners of the Federation Cup in 2015 and won it a second time in 2017 under a new name, the ITO Cup. The team is also flying the country's flag high in the Confederation of African Football CAF Confederation Cup. In the words of Governor Udom Emmanuel, and I quote, We have set a seven-year target that in every 11 players that will be 
in the pitch representing Nigeria. Six years from now, we are aiming at producing at least five to six of such players in the field. End of quote. This is a leader with a clear vision for his people. Welcome to the new Aquaibom State. Today, through God's divine mandate, Aquaibom is blessed with Governor Dom Gabriel Emmanuel, who is committed to the industrialization of Aquaibom State, passionate in human capacity development and empowerment, creative in the area of agriculture, reliable in superior infrastructure, and focused on the Aquaibom project. Be part of the winning team. Come, let's build our choir bomb together. The progress of this thing lies in the unity and love we show to one another.